everybody, Dan Holstein here, helping your business take flight. And this week I wanna share with you something I learned from a bit of a crazy buddy of mine that's a cave diver and how it relates to what's happening in your business. Okay, so what does this lesson from a cave diver have to do with your business? Well, it's really simple. Here's the lesson. If you only have one, you have none. So what does that mean? Well, in the context of cave diving, you know, my friend Robbie goes down like hundreds of feet below water, uh, below the surface, and through these caves that are multiple kilometers long. Can you just imagine being, you know, two kilometers into this dark cave with nothing but a little rope to help you find your way back out, and your only flashlight battery dies, or you drop it, and it goes out? No, that would be dangerous and probably foolhardy. So you want to have multiples. And so um, cave divers will take not just multiples, but like triplicate and quadruplicate of whatever they need as of their critical equipment. You don't want to be without it. So what's this got to do with business? Where I, I see this show up a lot where people put themselves in a dangerous situation where they don't have choice. So what's a really common example of this? A common example is someone is growing their business and they're really busy and they don't think they have time to implement an effective hiring process, in other words, a candidate attraction process, and they really need to fill a role. They really need to put a body in there. And what happens, someone shows up that has some portion of the required skills, they may or may not have a cultural fit, may or may not have all the skills needed, but because they can fill a part of that gap, like, okay, get in there. So they hire this person, of course it turns out to be a disaster or just not ideal, and it's so tough to have to move somebody on from a role that they probably shouldn't have been in the first place. Cost time, money, frustration, energy, and attention. So in this example, you know, why, why does a business owner do that? Well, there's pressure, right? We've got, we've got the pressure to get that role filled. We've got customers waiting on the services they can provide, right? It's, we're having to do it as the owner, right? We don't have time for that. We're doing other things. So the tendency can be to, to leap into action or to make uh, snap judgments and decisions and just have the one option, not multiple, and so whatever you're looking at one, it's the only one you got, you're gonna run with it. So we wanna make sure that, especially in the hiring process, that we're attracting multiple great candidates. We need an effective onboarding and attraction process. Another area that I see this come up time to time is when a business owner is getting ready for what's next for that transition, that succession, whether that's a, a sale or a merger, whatever it might be. And if the business owner isn't ready, they might have a buyer that happens to come along. It's the only buyer they've got. They start you know, going down the path of that buyer, not knowing any better, not knowing any other options, and then that doesn't always end with the best offer. So what do we wanna do in that case? Well, we wanna have our business set up to be the most attractive to the most economical buyers, and also structure a deal team, get the right professionals together that can make sure your business is in the right shape, as well as that can bring other buyers together for you that are willing to pay a good value for, for the quality of your business. So this week, think about this. Where have you gone in your business and just made decisions because you've been only looking at one option? How can you go and get yourself other options? If you're not sure you know, where to go with that, I'm happy to help. Hit me up for a conversation. I'm always uh, happy to have, uh, have a chat with you to help you get some clarity on where you could go a little bit different in your business to make improvements. So that's it for this week. Have a fantastic week creating more choice for you. Don't be caught underwater in a, in a cave with just one flashlight, okay? Catch you next time.